story. So you are playing a mercenary, also known as a hunter, to help the mothership achieve objectives on planets, though currently there is only one planet available. It's a bit like Ghost of Tabor, where you will be collecting weapons, ammo, supplies to store back on the ship, but if you die whilst out on mission, you lose everything you collected on that mission. So you store your weapons and ammo back at the mothership and also any other gases, liquids or metals that you gathered. You then mix these resources that can upgrade equipment. You can sell stuff at the stalls also to make some money and it's also where you drop off proof of your completed missions. Like if your mission is to destroy radars, you have to pick up the piece of the radar that you destroyed and bring it back as proof to get paid. It's worth noting that you don't have to do the missions, you can just go out and collect resources if you wish. You can go to the planet empty handed. In the space capsule after you land and before you get out, there is always a pistol and three boxes of ammo on the wall that you can collect. I'm not even kidding when I say on my first mission I lasted 20 seconds because I had no idea what to do. I saw people back on the mothership and watch them launch before me. So I thought they were on the planet already. So when I landed, I saw people holding guns and assumed it was them. Turned out they were hostiles and shot me. Game menus. Menus are very simple, though there are not many of them and there are no instructions or tutorials to explain to you how the game works. You are pretty much left to your own devices. At the start of the game, you will be given a choice to have PVP on or PvP off and each has a save so in effect it's two separate game files. Levels and size. Though there is only one planet at the moment I've seen the roadmap and see they plan on adding another two planets. I feel like they should have released this game with at least two planets to begin with and then added two or three more in updates. They will also be adding new missions in updates late 24 and 25. The planet volcano that is available is a decent size. I feel like you have a few hours of explore time here and then it might start to become a little stale. The mothership is quite large for a home base and it might feel very confusing for a while. There are so many sections, storage, this is where you will keep all your equipment and resources that you loot from the planet. A place for guns, ammo, inhalers, grenades, mods and resources. Every storage section looks good, though it might take you a while to work out what to do. It's quite addicting and satisfying filling up your storage boxes. There are also more rooms that are locked and that you can buy and upgrade as you do more missions and looting. Then you have a botanical garden. Though I think this is for future updates, as though it looked pretty inside, there's just no use for it right now. Then there's the fuel crafting station, where you will mix resources to make fuels. Choices of fuels to make are acid, electric, fire or plasma. These fuels will be used in your weapons when you upgrade them. Then there's the commander room. This is where you will bring back proof of completed missions to get paid. Then you have an armory shop where you can buy or sell weapons. A resource shop where you can buy or sell resources. Then there's a component crafting station bench where you can build weapon parts, ammo, grenades or elemental upgrade. There's a crafting station for inhalers also. There's an outfit shop to buy new outfits. And then there is also a shop that is closed and a bunch of arcade machines that are also closed. I'm assuming these will come into play in future updates. And then last of all, there are the space capsules. This is where you will launch to other planets. Controls. Everything is accessed via a tablet that you bring up by pressing the Y button. This is going to allow you to check your inventory on weapons, ammo, consumables, upgrades, resources, valuables, tools and outfits. By pressing the B button, this will bring up a wheel on your right arm that allows you to select your tool you wish to use. Mechanics. The mechanics of the game are good though seeing enemies load in off in the close distance is a little off-putting. And then occasionally I would reach down to pick something up off the floor but would end up grabbing my gun instead. 
This was a problem that I had more than a few times. But in general, everything moves as it should do. Also, opening drawers can be a little tricky. They all open and they stick to your hands. Weapons. There are many types of weapons available. Pistols, shotguns, rifles, sniper, machine guns, rocket launchers, and then there are many types of grenades, like healing beacons, airstrike grenade, force field grenade, many things here you can have fun with. It takes some time getting used to the shooting though, so be warned. You also have inhalers which will offer you health regeneration and speed boosts. I read that weapon attachments will also soon be added in future updates and they are very much needed right now. I haven't had that much trouble with the weapons, only on an odd occasion when I upgraded my weapon and then it just started spazzing out in my hand. You also carry a few tools to aid you such as a liquid vacuum to collect oils, a gas pump to collect gases, miner blaster to break giant crystals and a pickaxe to break rocks. Leveling up options. There are plenty things to level up in this game, from weapons to grenades, the mod discs and also storage rooms back on the mothership. This can be a little tricky and annoying because you have to go to the upgrade station, then try to remember what ingredients you need to get from your storage station to make those upgrades. It would be better if you could instantly recall your ingredients at these stations to save you having to run back and forth. What should take 30 seconds to upgrade ends up taking around 5 minutes. I'm also still confused of how to remove the padlocks in some of your rooms that are on the computer in your living room. It says some stations need to be upgraded, but I've no idea how to upgrade them. Customization options. You can customize your outfits, such as a helmet, top, pants and boots, but you can only change the colors of them. Then you can customize your weapons by adding attachments to them. Also, you can customize what you put in the quick menu wheel of up to six things. Normally you carry your four tools and then have space for two more items such as grenades. Enemies and bosses. There are many different types of enemy, most often hanging out in their own specific territories. Most of the animals tend to leave you alone unless you get close to them, but the human ones with guns tend to shoot you if they see you. I think the AI could be up to notch here as they are not very difficult to kill unless they are in high numbers. They just come out everywhere like cockroaches. <laughs> but I did see in their roadmap that they plan on improving the enemy AI and that they will also be adding some mighty bosses. So that's something to look forward to. The animals just tend to stand there. They walk a few feet and then they walk a few in another direction. So it's a little easy to predict what they're going to do. The only ones that really give you any trouble are the humanoid looking ones because they fire the guns and in numbers they are quite difficult. And also there is the threat from other players if you're choosing that game mode. Online playability. I can't really comment on this because I only ever saw two people when I first started playing. Then I saw another person who just ignored me. I tried a few games but I never saw anyone out on the planets. But I reckon this would be a great laugh with your mates. So good points and points I think could be improved on. So I mostly played this game with the PvP off, mainly because I invested quite a lot of time into it before I really realised what was going on. And once you have built up your resources, you kind of don't want to start again. I love the look of the planet, but I'm not too keen on how all species are spread out in territorial positions. I'd love to see two species getting into a fight as you sneak past them or open fire on them both just some different behavior patterns from them. The weapons really do need attachments, sights for certain, as I've been killed a few times by two or three human shaped things shooting at me because shooting guns is quite difficult, especially without the sights. Also, it needs way more missions. I swear there's only four or five of them currently. There should be a minimum of 20 missions, especially seeing as there is currently only one planet, and having more than one planet is also crucial to this game. So I really hope they are going to bring at least five planets to this game eventually. Looking at games like Into the Radius, 
Green Hell and Saints and Sinners, these worlds are large and packed with things you can interact with. I believe this game has that potential. It's just down to the devs to unlock it. The game is fun, but I don't think it's quite there yet. Once it adds the two more planets and fixes the AI and adds a lot more missions, then you will have an outstanding game. But you can still have a lot of fun and play this now to get ahead on your resources. I have spent 15 to 20 hours in this game already, and I'm looking forward to the new planets and all the updates that come. In another six months to a year, I think this is gonna be an awesome game. So overall, I'm going to give Astro Hunters an 8.4 stars. Now please show me some support by hitting that like button and then come be part of this community and hit subscribe. Let's support one another in our gaming experiences. Thanks guys and happy gaming.